Mr. Jeffrey Lloyd, Parliamentary Undersecretary for the Home Department, opens, inaugurates, starts and inspects the work of the first government gas mask factory. This Blackburn plant can turn out two million masks a month. The government, said Mr. Lloyd, hopes that the masks may never be needed, but if they are, they will be issued free of charge to everyone in danger. So for once, the government has stated a sentiment with which everybody can agree. When assembled, each charcoal-filled mask is tested and proved efficient. Here is an experiment which shows how the gas is absorbed by a bottle containing some charcoal. There is the bottle with no gas and no deception. So who was afraid of the big bad wolf? Oh, that's Mr. Lloyd, a muzzled politician. Hull stages a make-believe air raid to see that the city arrangements, in case of such an unpleasant emergency, will really work. Masks are donned and chemically treated sticks test for mustard gas which contaminates the ground and poisons those who walk through or over it. Some ex-servicemen know only too well its diabolical, blistering effect. St. John's Ambulance takes part, collecting the alleged victims and removing them to hospital. This is the first mass public demonstration of its kind seen in this country. The crowd was not very large, but as 9 a.m. Sunday was the time, it interfered rather badly with the long line. But in the event of war, people would probably all take much more interest, of course. 